the answer minus 2 is equal to a implies a is equal to minus 2. So, we got one value that is a. To get b, you have to eliminate this one. Let x is equal to 1 by 2. Let x is equal to 1 by 2. So, you will get 1 by 2 LHS 1 by 2 minus 2 is equal to this will become 0 plus b by 2. 1 by 2 minus 2 is nothing but minus 3 by 2 is equal to b by 2. So, 2 2 will cancel this implies the value of b is equal to minus 3. So, now we got the values of a and b we will substitute in the given function. So, that is equal to minus 1 by 2 integral x minus 2 by x into 1 minus 2 x dx can be written as minus 1 by 2 I will keep outside and this can be written as a by x. So, the value of a is minus 2 integral minus 2 by x dx. What is the value of b? b by 1 minus 2 x, b is minus 3. So, therefore, plus integral minus 3 by 1 minus 2 x dx. Let us go on integration minus 1 by 2, we can write minus 2 log x mod x, 2 log mod x integration of 1 by x is log mod x minus 2 I have written as it is. Now, this minus 3 because this minus 3 I have written here, what is the integration of 1 by 1 minus 2 x that is log mod 1 minus 2 x is it over? Recall. So, whole divided by minus 2 because minus 2 x is there therefore, the derivative integral of 1 by 1 minus 2 x is log 1 minus 2 x whole divided by minus 2 this minus 2 I have written here plus c. So, therefore, if you simplify this answer you have to multiply this and multiply this then we will substitute in the solution. Now, let us multiply with 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2, if you multiply these two, you will get log x is equal to log mod x minus minus has become plus. Now, there are 3 minus, minus, minus and minus, therefore, you will get 1 minus that is minus 3 by 4, 3 by 4 because this 2 into 2, 4 log mod 1 minus 2 x plus c. So, this is only i 2. Now, let us write the full answer. Therefore, i is equal to i 1 plus i 2 that means overall answer of this question is equal to i is equal to if I assume this as i, i is equal to i 1 plus i 2. What is i 1? The first part integration is x by 2. Let us club constants plus what is i 2? This is i 2 log x log mod x minus 3 by 4 log mod 1 minus 2 x plus c. I have clubbed these two constants this one and this one into 1 c. So, this is the final answer for this integration. Now, let us see one more example of third type. The question is integral x by x minus 1 into x square plus 1. Suppose, if you would have x square minus 1, this x square minus 1 you could have written as x plus 1 and x minus 1 and the first method you could have applied, but here this x square plus 1 cannot be factorized. So, therefore, this can be written as that means the integrand is x by x minus 1 into x square plus 1 can be written into partial fractions as capital A by x minus 1 plus b x plus c by x square plus 1. So, that means if the quadratic polynomial cannot be factorized into linear factors, then we must go for this method b x plus c by so and so. Now, this can be written as x is equal to capital A into x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x minus 1. Now, easily we can find some value by assuming x is equal to 1. Let x is equal to 1. If you assume x is equal to 1, LHS is 1 is equal to capital A into 1 plus 1 and this term has become 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So, therefore, 1 is equal to 2A implies capital A is equal to 1 by 2. So, you can eliminate only one term by assuming x is equal to 1. Now, you cannot uh, get A by elimination method. Therefore, we have to go some other method which is very important by comparing the constants. So, I will comparing the x square quotients x square quotients what we will get let us see. 
by comparing the x square quotient means there is no x square quotient in left hand side therefore left hand side is 0 what is the quotient of right hand side x square a x square the quotient is a a into x square x square therefore the quotient of x square is a if you want you can multiply no need to multiply also see one more term you will get with x square that is bx into x is bx square therefore the quotient is plus b so i am i am comparing the quotients of x square left hand side there is no x square quotient right hand side is a plus b this implies b is equal to minus a that is b is equal to minus 1 by 2 so you got the value of b now let us go for c so what we have to compare to get c c is a constant now let us compare constants comparing constants we get left hand side constant is 0 therefore 0 right hand side if you multiply these two also you will get constant that means a a into 1 a and one more constant you will get minus c see c into minus 1 is minus c so these are the only two constants if you come simplify a is equal to c or c is equal to a this implies c is equal to 1 by 2 so you got the values of abc now substitute in the given function therefore integral x by x minus 1 into x square plus 1 dx can be written as integral a by what is a 1 by 2 by x minus 1 dx plus integral bx plus c minus 1 by 2 x plus c 1 by 2 by x square plus 1 dx. Now we will simplify that is equal to 1 by 2 what is the integral of 1 by x minus 1 is log x minus mod x minus 1 plus this can be written as sorry minus 1 by 2 will split this also minus 1 by 2 integral x by x square plus 1 dx plus 1 by 2 integral 1 by x square plus 1 see how I have written just I have written a plus b by c is equal to this by this and this by this while writing this I have written minus 1 by 2 outside x by denominator plus 1 by 2 by denominator so 1 by 2 I have written outside so that is equal to 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 no need to do anything for this now this uh, see the denominator and the numerator what is the derivative of denominator x square plus 1 what is the derivative of x square plus 1 is 2x so to make this 2x I will multiply and divide with 2 therefore this will become 1 by 4 integral 2x by 1 plus x square or x square plus 1 dx plus 1 by 2 what is integral 1 by 1 plus x square it is nothing but tan inverse x therefore you can write tan inverse x directly plus c now one more is there here we will write later that is equal to 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 minus 1 by 4 we have discussed one formula integral f dash x by fx is equal to log fx so using that this can be written as log 1 plus x square or x square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus c so this is the final answer for the given integral and in this way we have applied third one when the quadratic polynomial cannot be factorized okay best of luck now let us discuss one more important question that is integral 1 by x into x power n plus 1 into dx here we will multiply and divide by numerator and denominator with x power n minus 1 so that is x power n minus 1 into x is will become x power n and this is x power n plus 1 dx now let x power n is equal to some t step you have to remember or without remembering also you can write so this is the best method now if you differentiate this n into x to the power of n minus 1 dx is equal to dt so what is x power n minus 1 dx is equal to dt by n now i will substitute these values here that is x power n minus 1 into dx can be written as dt by n that is 1 by n integral 1 by x power n can be written as see here x power n can be written as t and x power n plus 1 can be written as t plus 1 so t into t plus 1 which can be resolved into partial fractions now let us write this integrand 1 by t into t plus 1 is equal to a by t plus b by t plus 1 that is 1 is equal to a into t plus 1 plus b t again we will applying elimination method let t is equal to 0 if you apply t is equal to 0 left hand side we have 1 is equal to a plus 0 this will become 0 
So, directly a is equal to 1. Now, let t is equal to minus 1. If you assume t is equal to minus 1, this term will be eliminated. LHS is 1 is equal to 0 plus b into minus 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to minus b, b is equal to minus 1. So, this is the value of b. Substitute a and b here. Therefore, integral 1 by 1 by n integral 1 by t into t plus 1 dt can be written as 1 by n write the first one 1 by t what is the value of a a is 1 integral 1 by t dt plus second one integral minus 1 by t plus 1 dt that is 1 by n what is integration of 1 by t integration of 1 by t is log mod t plus or you have minus here you can write directly minus integral 1 by t plus 1 is log mod t plus 1 plus c so we write plus c here so after getting the integral substitute t is equal to so t we have x power n that is equal to 1 by n log t means x power n minus log t plus 1 x power n plus 1. Again this can be written as 1 by n log a minus log b can be written as log a by b that is log x power n by x power n plus 1 plus c. So, will be the final solution for the question. Here also I should take mod like this. So, whenever you take log take modulus or assume that it is positive. Children will discuss one more important question that is integral 1 by e power x minus 1 whole square. Sometimes you may not get whether uh, what type of uh, method we have to apply whether substitution method or partial fractions method just you see here we will assume e power x minus 1 is equal to t from this e power x is equal to t plus 1 if I differentiate e power x dx is equal to dt if I substitute all the values here the integral or dx can be written as dt by e power t e power x again this can be written as dx can be written as dt by e power x can be written as t plus 1 t plus 1 see this much substitution I am using here that is integral dx can be written as dt by t plus 1 that is e power x minus 1 can be written as t into t square into t plus 1 because e power x minus 1 whole square is there. So, this will become t square and dx can be written as dt by t plus 1 that is dt by t plus 1. So, which is which can be resolved into resolved into partial fractions this can be written as 1 by t square into t plus 1 integrand can be written as a by t plus b by t square plus c by t plus 1 to so, the combination of both whole uh, repetition is there and also linear factor is also there. This can be written as 1 is equal to a into t plus b into sorry a into t into t plus 1 plus b into t plus 1 plus c into t square. As I told the denominator both denominators will cancel. Now, let us apply elimination method let t is equal to 0 if you apply t is equal to 0 LHS is 1 this will become 0 and this will become 0 the remaining is b into 0 plus 1 this implies b is equal to 1 we got one value. Now, let t is equal to 1 if you apply t is equal to 1 1 is equal to sorry minus 1 so that this will become 0 let us assume t is equal to minus 1 this will become 0 this will become 0 and minus 1 whole square c into minus 1 whole square this implies c is equal to 1. Now, what should we get uh, to find a? Now, let us compare the coefficients because elimination method is over. So, by comparing t square coefficients, see there is no t square coefficient in the left hand side, therefore, I will write 0. In the right hand side, the t square coefficient is a t square, therefore, I have written a, and here there is no t square term. Here you have c t square, the coefficient is c plus c. So, therefore, 0 is equal to a plus c, a is equal to minus c and we have c is equal to 1 therefore, a is equal to minus 1. So, after finding the values let us write the integrand as integral 1 by 
t square into t plus 1 dt can be written as a by t that is integral minus 1 by t dt plus integral b 1 by t square dt plus c integral c is 1 by t plus 1 dt. Now, let us tell me what is the integration of uh, 1 by t that is equal to minus integration of 1 by t is log mod t plus what is the integration of 1 by t square? t square is minus 1 by t. Remember, we will apply same formula x for n plus 1 by n plus 1, but here in the denominator t square plus 1 by t plus 1 integration is log mod t plus 1 plus c. That means, if you simplify this can be written as log t plus 1 minus log t minus 1 by t plus c. If you substitute the values that is equal to log t plus 1 can be written as e power x minus log t can be written as e power x minus 1 minus 1 by t minus 1 by e power x minus 1 plus c. If you want you can write this log a minus log b as log a by b also that can be written as is equal to log e power x by e power x minus 1 minus 1 by e power x minus 1 plus c. So, this will be the final solution for the question. So, in this way mainly there are three methods in partial fractions and you can solve some more for perfection. Best of luck. So, children these are some questions. So, this is not sufficient you have to solve some more questions in integration by partial fractions. In the next session we will be discussing the important uh, method uh, for integration is important integrals by parts, integration by parts. That means, when you have u into v uh, given integrand as a product of two functions, we use integration by parts. Thank you.